Before Wells of Life, I operated a company in Laguna Beach. My lifestyle was one of being able to do a lot of things that I enjoyed doing, which was to have the entrepreneurial freedom to build a company, got to travel quite a bit, essentially what the American dream is all about. As Sylvester Stallone you know, once said, you never quite know what's going to happen until somebody punches you in the nose. The real estate markets were hit and I lost it all. It was essentially just like getting knocked down in a, in a boxing match. Getting back up off the canvas did really start in Uganda. As soon as I got to Uganda, I was really overwhelmed by the experience. And I was not prepared for what I saw. Every day, the children of the school would have to leave their class and go and carry water. And they would haul them in the heat of the day, sometimes two and three kilometers each way. I remember the first day that I went to go on one of these journeys, I thought it would never end. And when we got to one of the water holes, I thought that we were just passing a swamp. But when the children stopped and started to fill their jerry can from this, what to me looked like surface water that just seemed like it was putrid, I was aghast. And they told me that that's all there is. I had to answer the question, am I going to just put this down as an experience that I saw and maybe put it on the shelf? Or I'm actually going to do something about it. By providing clean water, the domino effects are incredible. Education becomes possible when children attend school. Mothers can actually become entrepreneurs, start businesses. Communities can grow and thrive once they can plant crops and build sustainable micro-enterprises. The WASH program is perhaps the most effective program that we know at providing uncontaminated water to people in rural, very rural villages in Uganda. It saves lives, improves the quality of life, and it also empowers the community to take charge. This is their wells. The story of Wells of Life is a well-documented story about people hearing about the opportunity and choosing to change their own lives and join in that effort. I went to Uganda and told my wife that I want to do this for the rest of my life. I think I got a, a call to do something worthwhile because we put in a water well and it changes the whole dynamic of the village. I wish I could find a cure for cancer. I wish I could find uh, you know, all kinds of different things to help the, the entire world. I, I can't, but what I can do pretty easily is I can help a thousand people lift themselves out of dire poverty and get on the road to hope for a future. I can see people donate to build a monument, but the monument just sits there, lifeless. The whole idea of drilling a well, I just can see it, you know, digging down, the water coming up and giving life. And that's, that's wonderful. The next 10 years look very, very exciting from where we sit right now. We're building our training and visitor center just outside of Kampala that will allow people to travel from anywhere they wish to travel from, spend time in Uganda, see firsthand the difference that their well, their donation is making. It'll allow us to train local people to actually fix broken wells, to learn how to drill new wells. What wells of life needs are people like you, 
people that are willing to spend a little bit of time just asking themselves the question, what is it that I can do to help another person? And if we have enough people that are willing to just look at that opportunity, I know that we have all that we need to build just an indomitable force for good in the world.